In this video, we explain the consequences of the directionality of the conductivity of the accessory pathway. As already explained, accessory pathways can conduct only in the anterograde direction or both in anterograde and also retrograde direction or finally only in the retrograde direction. These accessory pathways are called concealed because they do not produce ventricular pre-excitation during sinus rhythm due to the fact that there is no conduction from the atria to the ventricles via the accessory pathway in these patients. However, they develop uh, atrioventricular reciprocating tachycardias that utilize the accessory pathway as retrograde limb of the re-entry circuit and the normal AV node his pathway as the anterograde arm of the re-entry pathway. Accessory pathways that conduct in the anterograde direction may result in ventricular pre-excitation during sinus rhythm, in which case these accessory pathways are called patent. Accessory pathways conducting only in anterograde direction can exhibit ventricular pre-excitation during sinus rhythm if the atrioventricular conduction times via the accessory pathway are shorter than the atrioventricular conduction times over the normal AV node his pathway. These patients may also develop a form of atrioventricular reciprocating tachycardia that is called antidromic because atrioventricular conduction during this tachycardia is via the accessory pathway while the normal AV node his pathway is used for retrograde conduction. Finally, these patients may develop atrial fibrillation, and if the anterograde effectory refractory period of the accessory pathway is short, they may present very fast, life-threatening ventricular rates during atrial fibrillation. Patients with accessory pathways conducting both in the anterograde and retrograde directions may exhibit ventricular pre-excitation during sinus rhythm if the atrioventricular conduction times via the accessory pathway are shorter than the atrioventricular conduction times via the AV node his pathway. They can also present a non-pre-excited form of atrioventricular reciprocating tachycardia that is called orthodromic because ventricular activation is via the normal AV node his pathway while the accessory pathway is used for retrograde ventricular atrial conduction. Very rarely they can present the antidromic maximally pre-excited form of atrioventricular re-entry tachycardia in which the accessory pathway is used as anterograde arm of the re-entry circuit and the normal AV node his pathway for ventricular atrial conduction. Finally, these patients may present atrial fibrillation and if the anterograde effective refractory period of the accessory pathway is short, then they may exhibit very fast life-threatening ventricular rates during atrial fibrillation due to a preferential atrioventricular conduction over the accessory pathway. Patients with concealed accessory pathways capable only of retrograde conduction do not exhibit pre-excitation during sinus rhythm because of the inability of the anomalous bundle to conduct in the anterograde direction. These patients, however, present frequently the orthodromic form of atrioventricular reciprocating tachycardia using the accessory pathway as retrograde arm of the circuit and the normal AV node his pathway as the anterograde limb of the re-entry mechanism. The next video is on the proximal and distal insertions of the accessory pathway.